Here we go. God bless America. Our country's in trouble. Land I love. I've got 12 grandchildren. And I, I shudder to think what America's going to look like for them. You see, God judges nations. He judges families. He's going to judge us one day. We'll have to stand before you, give an account for our lives. Well, we're just so blessed to uh, be joining with Franklin Graham again. We've been in every city on the California tour. I get tired of something. Can I share what I'm tired of? Is that okay with you guys? I'm tired of the enemy trying to steal, kill, and destroy. I'm tired of it. And he's ravishing this generation. He's telling lies to people like God's me. laws and his standards do not change. We so much especially appreciate his boldness. Murder. Have you ever murdered? You said, well, no, you go to prison here. You can't do that in California or anywhere. Really? How about abortion? In continuing to speak out against abortion. God sent his son, Jesus Christ, from heaven to this earth on a rescue mission. Now, out of all these people here tonight, there's, there's thousands of people here tonight. I want to let you know that God sees you and he loves you and he has a purpose and a plan for you. And, and if you have been the only person to ever live, he would have sent Jesus Christ from heaven to this earth to take your sin. And I love the scripture that says this. Before I even formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. Isn't that awesome? Tears running down her face, she said, I have to confess something. <laughs> I said, hold it right here. You don't have to confess anything to me. She is like um, just plowing the ground that, that would have been just too hard if you had to come. She said, no, I have to say this. Okay. 20 years ago, I had an abortion. And I really believe that that's saving many lives during this tour. Can God forgive me for what I did? She said, it's haunted me. We're just thankful to see so many choose life. And when you confessed your sins and accepted Christ by faith, at that moment, God forgave you and you are covered in the blood of his son. You are forgiven. The devil will want you to go back to those sins. He wants you to go right back into that relationship. Don't go back. You turn from that life. You may think there's no hope. That's just a lie. who heard his message were hungry to hear information about how to end our abortion holocaust. Well, that's why we were there. Jesus Christ is a greater savior than you are a sinner. Don't ever forget that. He's bigger, he's stronger. Take away every sin you've ever done, man. And he loves you. During the last election, the media kept calling California, Oregon, and Washington the blue wall. I want to pierce that blue wall for Christ. The Life Amendment is a way to end abortion in our nation that the Supreme Court can't stop.